This expressive words exercise is similar to what you did with the type personalities, but this time you'll be using more of the Illustrator tools. This first example I'm showing you is straight out of the book. If you look in the book, pages 114 and 115, this is one of the ones that they used, and all it is is a change of typeface. It's actually the same typeface, but different um, styles in the family. So let me pull up my character box. So I think the first couple letters are Helvetica New Bold, Medium, Regular, Light, and over here we have Ultralight. So that gives you the idea of dieting just by using um, one typeface, and actually, oh, I guess these are numbers. No, oh, I changed it back and forth. Okay, so anyway, that gives you an idea of that. Then if you go down here, you can use the eraser for a word like bite. And I'm just, I typed it in one typeface, so I used my boldest version of Helvetica. And then I used the eraser tool and if you don't see the eraser, it's probably hidden underneath your scissors like that. So you just click and hold, go to your eraser, and then make sure you create outlines of your type, and then you can just click on the word to erase it. Um, I'm just gonna go through this quickly, and then if you already know how to do this, then you can do it on your own. And I would like you to come up with at least 10 different words. Yeah. Here's one using the Pathfinder tool, Explode, and one that's similar to it, Shatter, and then Fading using the Gradient tool, and then one over here, Displacement, Falling. Okay, so if you already know how to do all this, you can stop this video and do it on your own. At least 10 examples in Dropbox. Okay, so then you already know how to do this, I think you would just type the word and then select each letter or number of letters and then um, highlight different typefaces. For this one, I've already created outlines, so I'll do this one here. Let's see, let me grab this word here. I'll copy that. Go over here and paste it. Bite. Create outlines. Eraser tool. And the size of your eraser, the size of your eraser can change. To make it smaller, you will type your left bracket. And the left bracket is right next to the letter P on your keyboard. So left bracket makes it smaller, right bracket makes it larger. So get it whatever size you want. And then we're erasing, so you don't need to worry about the color. But we're actually going to remove sections. That's bite. Uh, one thing to note, when you're using the eraser tool, if you have something highlighted like this, then I'm only erasing that section. And let me put something behind it so that you can see what I'm talking about. I will put a shape behind um, the word bite in a different color. And I'll paste it in the back. Maybe make it brighter so you can see it. Paste this in the back or send it to the back. Okay, so I don't have anything selected. Nothing has a handle um, showing up on the shape. I click on my eraser tool. If I click here, it will erase both the letter and the pink behind it. Okay, I don't want to do that, so Command Z to undo it. If I only want to, to erase the T, but not the pink, then I highlight it. Okay, so do you see the difference? Undo. Now, if I only want to select, um, erase the pink, but not the B, not the T, then I select the pink. See how that's highlighted? So only the pink is um, erased. OK, 
Okay, so whatever is highlighted will be erased when you're in your eraser tool. If nothing is highlighted, then everything gets erased. Okay, and I'm just doing Command Z, Command Z to undo. Okay, so then that's the eraser tool. This one, I think we've played with a little bit in class. This is our Pathfinder tool and is very similar to what I did here. I just did two different ways. So let's do explode. And I'll paste again because I already copied um, dieting, so it's still on my clipboard. So I can paste it again. Edit, paste. Okay, so explode. And then create outlines. Type, create outlines. And you'll notice I'm not doing that second step of uh, releasing the compound. That was only if I wanted to select my counters and change the inside color when we were doing the um, type anatomy exercise. So for this one, I don't need to do that second step. But just to remind you, this is what releasing the compound path does. Remember that? And then you can go into your white arrow and select these counters, change the color, and that was for our, our um, type anatomy exercise. Um, I can always copy the color that I have here by using my eyedropper tool. Okay. Okay, but remember, we're not going to do that. So let's undo all this. So now it is in its original form. You'll see the baseline at the bottom of the word. Go to type, create outlines. And now we're going to create a bunch of triangles on top of my word. I'm going to try to make it look like this. So if you can imagine, there's a triangle here, here, all over the place. And I started pulling shapes apart. So I'll put a triangle here. And then deselect. Maybe a triangle here. Whoops, what happened? Click, 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 click. So to close a shape, you go over the original, like the first point, and then you'll see a circle added to the plus sign. So right now I'm just drawing shapes, but if I, or drawing points, if I want to close it, I position the plus sign right near the first um, point. And I hope you can see that there's a circle added to that plus sign. Okay, so now it's closed. Just all these triangular shapes. And the way I'm deselecting without having to go up to the toolbox is I'm holding down my command key. So I'm in this tool right now, but I still want to keep using that tool. And so I don't want to have to keep going back and forth like this, sort of waste time. So while I'm in this tool, I just hold down my command key and then I can deselect by clicking on the white area. And then move over here and draw another triangle here, for example and close it. Okay. All right, let's zoom out a little bit. Then I'm going back to my command key so that I can select everything. Pathfinder, divide. Go to this tool and you can just type A. The letter A will take you back to this tool, the direct selection. And we're gonna grab all these guys and delete them. Delete these. So we're deleting everything that's sort of sticking out. Because that was just helping us to um, break apart the letters. And if we go into, like, it, you could highlight it and you can see where you made the cut marks. Or you can go into your preview mode. View, actually, we're in preview right now. So you could go into outline mode. And then we'll. Switch back to this tool. And you'll notice that the whole thing is selected, so I'm just going to ungroup. Object, ungroup. And grab a piece, and move it out. So you can be selective which letters you move out. 
There's a piece that we forgot to delete. So this is just giving you practice using the Pathfinder tool. Um, you can make more cut marks, obviously, but then when we go back to our uh, preview mode, view, preview, then you can see sort of what it looks like. And this does look better if you rotate some of your pieces. So you click on them and remember you hover near one of the corners and just start to turn. Click on it go near a corner or near a handle and rotate it. Okay, so that's what I did here. This one I just did one big shape. Okay, so remember I still have dieting on my clipboard so I can just paste it. Command V and shutter. Okay, so you remember that we're going to um, create outlines. And this time with my pen tool, I'm just creating a very strange zigzag shape, just going in and out. And I'm not clicking and dragging at all. Uh, clicking and dragging, remember, will create um, curves, and I don't want that for this example. I only want these really sharp pointed shapes. So I go up down, up, down, sort of like a, a strange lightning bolt shape. And then to close it, there's my circle. I really hope you can see it. It's right next to the plus sign, and that tells me that I'm closing it. Okay, then I go back to my selection tool, grab all this. Oh, here's a little piece down here. I'll get rid of that. Okay, grab all this, Pathfinder, divide. Then go to this direct selection tool, or the letter A. And there are other ways to do this, probably faster, but this is a really helpful way to get you used to using the pen tool, using the pathfinder. So you just go back and try to find your broken pieces. If you don't remember what they look like, or you can't really see them, go to your view outline mode. And so right now I'm deleting everything that is outside of the letter. Like this doesn't belong there. Get rid of that little piece. Okay. Oh, here's some pieces on the R and the E. So you have to delete twice because we're in the direct selection tool. So the first delete will, you know, get rid of some of the points. And then the second delete gets rid of all of them. I don't want to get rid of that one. I want to get rid of this outside one. There we go. So I think that's all of it. Okay, then we go to the fun part. We'll remove or move some of the um, pieces apart and make sure we ungroup so that this time when I select a piece in my selection tool, we can move it separately. So this is the fun part. We move it out, we rotate it, and maybe for the word shatter, they're just moved a little bit. You know, just do whatever makes sense to you. So what I'm doing here is really quick. It's not going to look perfect. I want you to spend a little bit more time on it and really fine tune. Okay, so that was that. Okay, fading, that's a different tool, that's our gradient tool. Um, we still have dieting on our clipboard, so let's see, we're going to paste. So you should really get used to these um, keyboard shortcuts. Cut is Command X, Copy is Command C, Paste is Command V, and you'll use those a lot. Okay, so this is going to be fading. Uh, create outlines. So command click, and I'm still in the typing tool. Um, command shift O for outline, or under here, type create outlines. Um, then here's our gradient tool. 
So I click on it twice and it opens up this window here and I click there, but I want it to go from black to white, sort of. So with this already highlighted or activated, you'll see that it's going from white to black. So I'll show you two ways. I want the white on the right side and the black on the left side. So I'd click on the right. So white, and I'm holding down my shift key to keep it perfectly straight. And I want the black to start maybe around here. And I let go. Okay, command click in the white area will show you what it looks like. So that's one way. Command Z. The other way is you can grab these boxes and I think of them as like crayon boxes or little individual crayons. Move it there and so then now I sort of see what it's going to look like. Black on the left, white on the right. So I don't have to think in backwards terms. So then I know that black is over here white is on the right. So now I can, hmm, maybe I'll position my cursor here because I want the black to be on the F and on the A, so maybe I'll put it around here. Hold down my shift key to keep it straight and I want my white to be about there. Let's just see, see what it looks like. Command click. Okay, so it's sort of nice because only part of my G is showing. Um, there's different ways you can use the gradient tool. So that's the linear uh, selection. Click on that. Click on your but um, your options button. And right now it says linear. You can change it to radial. And so then that's making it circular. But each letter um, has a gradient inside it. So here's a gradient inside the F, a separate gradient inside the A, another gradient inside the D, I, and G. If I want the entire word to have the gradient, then I'm still in this tool here. My word is selected. My gradient panel is open. And let's say I have my gradient starting from the center and going outwards. So then I can go like this. Okay. And just keep trying different angles, trying different positions. Command click, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so that's a different way. So now you can see that this fading is the linear gradient, and this fading is the radial gradient, starting from the A and then going outwards. Okay, so different uh, words, different techniques. So try these. Try the eraser tool. Try the pen tool. Um, where'd it go? Oh, here we go. Eraser tool right here. Uh, the pen tool for creating your shapes and using the Pathfinder tool. Pathfinder divide. And then the gradient tool for doing things like this, fading. Okay, have fun. Good luck.